Hey beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapolis, as you already know. Now guys, today I want to speak about um, my favorite broker. What broker do I like to use to trade the Forex market? This topic is very important because I've seen a lot of people fall victim to very phony traders. I've, trust me guys, I'm, very, I'm quite popular in the Forex industry, so I get a lot of messages from people complaining about their brokerage solutions as to how maybe you know their broker refused to give them back their money right so in this video i want to discuss my favorite broker the broker that i use and i want to explain to you guys the things you should look out for when choosing your preferred broker so i suggest you stick around to the very end of this video Alright guys, so the first thing you all need to do real quick, just smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. That's all you need to do. You do this, you drop me a comment, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. You hear me say this in every video, just kindly do it, right? If you haven't done it already, just kindly do it. So let me cut right to the chase, right? So um, straight off the bat, my favorite broker at the moment is a broker called Infinox Capital. Now, um, some of you might have heard of Infinox, some of you might not have heard about Infinox Capital, but at the moment, Infinox has been absolutely amazing to me. I've been using them for about three years. Now, um, prior to when I met, started working with Infinox, trading with uh, trading via Infinox Capital, I was using um, other brokers. I've tested IronFX, Hot Forex, FX Primals, and so on and so forth. And me being in the industry for at least nine years, I've had my own fair share of broker issues. And let me start from here. It's very important you guys pay attention to what I'm saying. I remember as far back as 2014, 15, there was a broker I was using called IronFX. IronFX was unable to pay me out my proceeds. Crazy. I had well over $30,000 of my money and clients' money stuck in IronFX. You can imagine you trade so hard, you work so hard, and then the broker tells you, oh, I cannot give it. It's one, already trading Forex is stressful, time consuming, and straight out just freaking damn difficult, right? So imagine you overcome all those obstacles, and then you eventually make the damn profits, and you're consistently profitable, and then after all that heartache and emotional trauma and then your broker is telling you that he cannot pay you out your money that's absolutely frustrating iron fx i almost lost my damn mind luckily for me i was very young i was probably about 22 at the time you know so i was able to recover and then i moved over to alpari and alpari if you guys can remember for those of you who have, who have, who have been trading for a while alpari did collapse in 2015 as well um something happened the swiss national bank i think they increased their interest rate overnight and then the swiss the franc just dropped overnight yeah dropped overnight and i think the brokers did not hedge their bets properly i don't know what happened i woke up the next day alpari had folded up literally how pari i woke up the ne like the next day i mean i woke up in the middle of the night i saw the spike but i didn't think much of it it was like the, the spike was like 2000 pips long story short the broker our pari was gone so um let me see do i look good wearing my glasses in the video should i take it off okay let's take it off <laughs> obviously i have to make sure i look good you get what i mean i've got chicks i got girls watching this video man i need to look good anyways back to what i was saying so yeah and that's exactly what happened to alpari i woke up the next day and alpari was gone so in total i'd probably lost about forty thousand dollars to brokers failing me in total so as i progressed in my career when it came to choosing brokers i became extra extra careful um and you have to be extra careful as well because there are a lot of bucket shop um, brokers out there now um why did i decide to choose infinox capital now from my previous experiences um you guys know i, I used to use fx primus i still do use fx primus however um because most of you guys who are watching this video are most likely from the developing countries west africa um africa in total you guys might be finding it, especially nigerians are finding it difficult depositing 
um, not redrawing but depositing because of the fiscal policies. So on their bank cards, uh, most, well, I won't say most, but most banks in Nigeria are having difficulties funding with their cards because they have a limit of $100. So the good thing about Infinox is that you can fund in your local currency and you can fund with your card as well. So my prime, I'm not going to lie, my primary broker is Infinox Capital. So why exactly did I choose Infinox Capital? I mean, um, being quite a popular figure on, in, on social media when it comes to Forex trading, I do get a lot of brokers trying to poach me. Um, brokers trying to poach me for me to trade with them, to trade for their clients, and for me to obviously introduce clients to them as well. Now, um, when I initially kicked off my trading career, I was quite excited anytime a broker spoke to me. But after you lose $40,000 in the market due to brokers' F-ups, when you, when you lose that kind of money, when brokers approach you, you're now extremely careful. You know, so when Infinox approached me, this was over th four years ago, um, I was I was quite skeptical about about them at the time. However, um, when it was time for me to eventually move to Infinox, what I did was this, and this is going to help you guys as well. Not did, I, I didn't just go on their website and read about, or did, did, did. I flew over to Infinox Capital's office because you have to understand that I trade a lot of money, especially for investors as well. We're talking millions of US dollars, crazy amount of money. So I cannot afford to even, you know, mess it up. So I flew over to Infinox Capital. I sat down with the CEO. Now, guys, I have done the due diligence for you guys. Just listen, right? Sat down with the CEO. Now, I have a personal relationship with the guy. I know where he lives. I know where his family lives, you know, because if I'm going to invest that kind of money, I need to know exactly where the, the guy lives. You get what I mean? So, very nice guy, charming and all that. But that's, by the way, what I was interested in was I was interested in seeing their books from their bank because... Me being in the industry for so long and me having working with brokers in the past, I understand the back end of the way the brokerage industry in Forex works. I understand that brokers need to have a significant amount of money with their bank in case anything goes wrong. So they obliged me. We actually went to the bank and we had a meeting. Me, the CEO and the bank had a meeting and they showed me exactly, you know, the balance sheet and when I saw it, I was truly amazed because they have a significant amount of money. Now, what does this mean for you and I? It simply means that regardless of whatever happens, Infinox Capital will pay you out your money. So this is fund safety. Number one priority for me. Now, the Forex Mastery students, uh, I have moved all of them, well, most of them to Infinox Capital because right now I can vouch for Infinox Capital. First of all, their books are in order. Okay. Secondly, we signed a deal with them. This is for the Forex Mastery students. And obviously, there's going to be a link down below to go ahead and create your Infinox trading um, account. Um, with this link, when you create an account with this link, you automatically fall under our kind of like the Dapper Willis umbrella, okay? Um, so that, you know, in case anything happens, you know, you can always reach out to me and stuff like that, right? Anyways, long story short. So, we signed a deal whereby they're liable to pay out up to $2 million in case anything happens. So, what does this mean? The bank has agreed to pay my students, everybody who signs up via Dapper Willis, up to two million dollars in case anything goes wrong now this is not a guarantee from the broker this is the guarantee from the bank guys i'm not saying anything is going to go wrong i'm just saying that i'm just trying to cover my ass i've lost 40k in the past trust me i'm wiser and smarter now and this is exactly why i can confidently come on here and tell you guys that infinox capital is my broker of choice and preference because of all these things first of all they have a very healthy bank balance secondly we have an agreement okay it's called an insolvency agreement of up to two million dollars fund safety agreement uh, my clients will get paid guaranteed all my students and for all of you guys watching this you sign up under this link you, you have no issue when it comes to fund safety and obviously number three is the spread okay I, I told them i want the best spread possible because you have to understand that 
in this industry um, traders are absolutely struggling and I understand this when I got into the market I was getting in 2011 2012 my spread was about three to four pips yes my spread they were giving me three three to four pips spread right and I told Infinox it's crazy okay you need to I need a spread below one pip for everybody okay so they give you the best spread they have one of the best support as well uh what else did we what else did we agree on i think that's it fun safety um best spread uh what else did we agree on and of course what's going to be happening is because i'm going to be working with them very closely i will be having exclusive events with them um for their clients as well so if you know you want to have exclusive forex webinars with yours truly dapper willis it doesn't take you much go ahead and create your trading account with them right about now i know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me about what about hot forex octa fx this fx that i don't really want to speak about other brokers and obviously say what i feel about them but there are two brokers that i want to obviously clarify right here right now hot forex we have a lot of students who are trading with hot forex who were trading with hot forex we've had 17 complaints so far from hot forex to um, hot forex um traders some of you guys might be trading with hot forex you might have gotten your your withdrawals but there's still is a, a significant amount of people who are still struggling to get their money out that's hot forex fx open and a couple of all these other funny funny brokers i don't want to come condemn any brokers here but my point is guys i have gone i have done my due diligence i have done my research and i you guys are already trading you already have brokers that you're trading with all you need to do is make the switch so that you can have peace of mind and last but not the least my team we got sarah daniel um we got sarah daniel um jonathan they, they all work for my organization their support they, they work for the support department they officially will help you handle any issues in case you're having issues with deposits or withdrawals this is how much we trust infinox capital and this is how much we are working very closely with them um there are a couple of times whereby i've had students from my forex mastery course message me oh sir my withdrawal has not come after three days once they let us know that this is the issue that day my team contacts infinox to ask about this person within 24 hours the person is paid out it's very possible that maybe the person was trying to redraw from a different way that they funded their account you know so all these little things that a lot of people are for instance if you fund with your card you cannot redraw via bitcoin if you fund via bitcoin you cannot do a wire transfer redraw back to your bank account so you have to redraw the same way you funded so these kind of things can cause delay and if you're not exactly enlightened about stuff like this you can panic so that's exactly why my team is there guys infinox 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 is the way to go i love them a lot because they give me some of the best support you have to understand guys i am a trader as well and i like to see when my broker feels responsible for my money i like to see when they call if there's a drawdown when they call and they ask if everything is okay okay and do not forget as long as you trade in infinox you get to have exclusive webinars with dapper willis because there are times whereby i don't have general webinars because infinox wants me to obviously come and that's one thing i really like about infinox they are so education driven right they're always telling me that please mr dapper willis can you come and educate my our existing traders because they want their traders to trade profitably okay so guys um i'm trying to remember any other thing about them that i really like so much obviously i know where their office is so they, they can't they can't mess up um i'm trying to think i think that's pretty much about it guys so do yourself a favor the link is going to be down below infinox capital go ahead you already trading with another broker you're already trading anyways go ahead and make the switch and i'll catch you in the very exclusive webinars i have at infinox capital if you are a forex mastery student this should be a reminder to you if you have not already completed your um, documentation process with the broker ensure to do that as well because like i said i will be having exclusive webinars with them a lot of them all, um in 2021 right now last but not the least when you go ahead and click 
to open your trading account, they might ask you a couple of questions like, um, what is your risk appetite? Just answer the questions to, your, to the best of your ability. However, there are two things that you need to take into consideration when you're setting up your account. They're going to ask you two very, obviously like five questions, but two of them are very important. First of all, leverage. Usually, if your account size is small, one to 300 is ideal. Okay, actually, just use one to 300. That's what I use. Everybody uses that. Is somewhere right in the middle one to 500 you might be a little bit over leverage one to 100 you might not be able to take some of those trades you like to take okay so leverage one to 300 is fine and then account type account type there are two kinds of account types there's an ecn account type and then there's the stp account type now the ecn um is the account type that whereby a broker charges you spread and commission that's that's too much money you don't need this choose stp as the broker will only charge you spread whenever it is you trade okay mt4 stp so leverage one to 300 account type mt4 stp and you're pretty much good to go right and yeah i must um i must there's a little disclaimer infinox at the moment it is not accepting clients from the us and canada okay um i don't really i don't live in canada i don't live in us but i have a lot of a lot of you guys who obviously follow me that live in these regions what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for a very good broker and i'm going to obviously have to do my research and fly to the them office once i do this i would then be able to recommend a broker but for now i cannot recommend a broker for clients in the us and canada okay but for the rest of the world infinix will do the job for you all right guys so um that's it well i'm thinking does fx prime oh, yeah for okay, i think for canadians fx primus is good so i'll drop the link for canadians down there fx primus is good as well i still trade with them so don't worry so for Can but for the people in the u.s brokers don't really like the u.s because the regulations are crazy man Anyway, guys, so that's exactly my time. Thank you for staying till the very end. Infinox Capital is my favorite broker. It's going to be my favorite broker for a long time to come. If my favorite broker does change, I will definitely come on here and inform you guys. But so far, so good. Infinox is the way to go. Take it easy. Stay blessed. You want the Forex Mastery course as well? The link is going to be down in the description below. Take it easy. Don't forget to comment. If you found this video helpful, drop me a comment below. Tell me about all the horror stories you've had about brokers i want to hear it because i get a lot of it i want to hear it drop me a comment below and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos take it easy peace out and love you guys